What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out this video from Alana Productions. He mostly talks about wrestling content and gives his thoughts and opinions on wrestlers and pay-per-views and you know I, I, I like his takes I've actually been subscribed to him for quite some time so if you guys want to check out his channel he's kind of like Wrestlemania in a sense but he more so goes in depth into like wrestlers characters and development and stuff like that and how he would book them so uh, definitely go check out his channel I will link the original video down below but we're gonna check out the video this Alexa Bliss isn't working and I'm not even gonna lie to you just off the title alone I agree Alexa Bliss her character change now is it's it's weird but I don't think it's like I guess working like it was because when she was originally lined up with the fiend her character was weird definitely but it was like the fiend was infecting her and and she was really selling it and it was actually kind of interesting definitely giving some new life to alexa bliss in wwe but after wrestlemania now it's taking a, a life of its own and it's it's not really working for me personally <clears throat> and i think a lot of other people are kind of just like uh i don't know where this is going i'm not really feeling this so we're gonna see what uh he has to say about this appreciate all the love and support and uh let's get right into this Bliss first joined forces with Bray Wyatt back on July 31st of 2020. Many people thought that it was a great pairing. Yeah, it was. I thought that the two would create some very compelling storylines. Over the months, things slowly began to change. TLC from 2020 is when everything took a turn for the worst. Yes. The Fiend was burnt alive in a pretty cool segment. That was not the bad part about the story. It was the aftermath. Bray Wyatt disappeared from TV for the next few months. Alexa Bliss would take over the mantle of The Fiend. That's been pretty apparent after WrestleMania 37, mm -hmm. and I made it clear that I believed in this theory before many people even saw it. It looks like I was right since we have not seen Bray Wyatt since the night after WrestleMania 37, and Alexa Bliss has been using magical powers on Shayna Baszler over the last month. Alexa Bliss has basically become the new fiend and I don't yeah. think that this is working out. I did not want to make a video on it because I wanted to give it some time. The storyline could have bounced back, but that was not the case. It's only gotten progressively worse and worse over the weeks. There was literally an episode of Raw where Shayna lost her match because Lily was controlling her leg. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, my. Oh. I'm sorry, Shayna Baszler. You're too good for that. You, you. Y'all remember when Shayna Baszler was just this dominant force in NXT and now she's getting controlled by dolls, psychic dolls, bro. Oh, my God. I don't watch Raw, so I didn't know this was a thing. I'm so, oh my, to anyone that watched this, I'm so sorry. Oh my God. Costing her the match, that was bad. But this week's episode of Raw was even worse. Alexa Bliss and Lily invited Shayna Baszler to Alexa's playground. What followed after that was one of the worst segments I've ever seen from WWE. Shayna Baszler was angry with the doll, and then she proceeded to stomp on the doll, killing it, I guess. Alexa Bliss got upset and tried to beat up Shayna for hurting her friend or doll or whatever you want to call it, and then the entire Thunderdome went up in flames. This scared off Shayna Baszler to the point where she had to hide in a room backstage, barricading the door with furniture. And then, this was the cherry on top. You saw Lily in the reflection of the mirror with Shayna Baszler yelling in absolute fear, that was hot garbage. I cannot believe that somebody really thought it was a good idea to even shoot or write this segment, let alone make it the main event of a Monday Night Raw. It made WWE look incredibly stupid. It made Shayna Baszler look like an absolute fool. That was the main event? Did he just say, hold on, I gotta go. That couldn't have been. This, this segment could not have been the main event. No, 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 no. Alone, make it the main event of a Monday Night Raw. This is why I don't watch Raw, and I'm okay. Because if I would have seen this, bro, if I would have waited three hours for this, once again, I'm sorry, Shayna Baszler. They have completely wasted you. 
I would love her to be on SmackDown. I would love her to go back to NXT, man. Jesus, man. Uh, it made WWE look incredibly stupid. It made Shayna Baszler look like an absolute fool. Facts. But most important of all, I think it showed that Alexa Bliss as the Fiend or whatever you want to call it clearly is not working out. And I'll explain why. No, it's, it's not working out at all. When you got stuff like this, segments like this. No, this is this is hot garbage, bro. I think there's many reasons why this isn't working out. However, the biggest issue on the top of that list is the fact that it's gotten way too supernatural. Yeah. I understand that The Fiend had his supernatural moments, such as turning off the lights before his attacks, or even the entire Firefly Funhouse match with John Cena. Even though that is right, the difference is that The Fiend made it look a lot cooler doing yeah, it. Yeah, he did. Bray Wyatt created this gimmick and had the perfect attire. That match. John Cena versus Bray Wyatt in the Firefly Funhouse was probably one of the most weirdest matches, but one of the most entertaining matches I have ever seen in WWE. They really made use of the fact that there was no crowds at that WrestleMania. And it was great. That was one of the better moments. That was cool. That was dope and unique and different. I enjoyed that, bro. He had the perfect look and he had all the perfect ideas into making it work and then giving it to Alexa Bliss just is not doing it for myself. I also think that Bray Wyatt back then was pretty realistic before the TLC match against Randy Orton. Outside of his cinematic matches, most of his supernatural moments were very limited. Yeah. Alexa Bliss, on the other end, has gotten completely off the rails. She's been using her powers to throw fireballs, control limbs, and even create an illusion where her doll appears in the mirror that technically is psychologically in Shayna's head, but then the audience can see it on the screen with the cameraman. Doesn't make too much sense, but we'll get over it. Basically, WCW did the same thing with Hulk Hogan and Ultimate Warrior, and everybody laughed, and now I'm doing the same thing because it was beyond stupid i can now probably see why so many people did not like the firefly funhouse match with mm -hmm. john cena because it was kind of outlandish at times but i think that bray wyatt's fiend was a good outlandish alexa bliss's fiend isn't so entertaining mm -hmm. and i think it's bad that's the biggest reason why I think Alexa Bliss has been a failure in this recent character, but there are a ton of other problems that I do see. I hate the fact that this might have been the end of the Bray Wyatt Fiend. No. If WWE really gave away the Fiend's gimmick to Alexa Bliss, no. that is one of the saddest ways to go out. The Fiend was perfect, and I tell you, perfect for Bray Wyatt and nobody else. There is no reason why Alexa Bliss should have been given this gimmick. I really hope that it somehow leads back to Bray Wyatt getting back to his character, but right now it's not looking like that. Another issue that I do see with this new Alexa Bliss is that the old one was much better. It is true. I believe that most people can agree with me when I say that this has been terrible for Alexa Bliss and she was a lot better when she was just the goddess. There was a point in time when Alexa Bliss was literally one of the hottest stars for the women's division. Mm -hmm. She was a multiple women's champion. She was feuding against mm -hmm. Becky Lynch, Sasha Banks, Charlotte, and even Ronda Rousey. That was Alexa Bliss at her peak. The heel version where she was just being hella bitchy to everyone yeah. in sight and she was roasting everyone and she was pe and she was pretty much mean to everyone. Yeah. I loved that version of Bliss and this new character just makes her look bad. It is obvious that she is trying her hardest to make it work and I don't blame her for it not working. I just feel like it was not a good fit. I believe that if her previous gimmick was better, it just means that this was not meant to be for Alexa Bliss. The WWE Women's Division is very thin right now and the company needs as many female stars as they can have. I do agree with that. Like I said, when it initially happened, I thought it was cool. I thought it was something different. She was being controlled by the Fiend, pretty much infected by the Fiend. That's cool. And ultimately, I thought the story was she was going to regain her control and, you know, move on from that, you know. But now she's taking over the mantle. Like, I don't know, man. And he's right, man. The women's division is already scarce as it is. You need all the women competitors you can get. And she can't. I can't buy her as the is any type of champion on Raw on SmackDown with these superpowers. Like, no. No, man, this is this is not working out. And this Alexa Bliss is not that star that they need right now. 
She hasn't even been wrestling on TV in a long time. No. Nope. Like I said, WWE needs more active women competitors in the ring, and Alexa Bliss needs to do more wrestling and less segments with Lily. The last reason why I think this is not working out is that I just think it's not intriguing. There might be a small percent of wrestling fans who do find this entertaining and I think that's perfectly fine, but I think I can speak for most people when I say that this is not good writing and a lot of us are not enjoying it. I don't care enough about Alexa Bliss right now to see where this is even leading to. It was cool at first, but then Bray Wyatt went away and we haven't seen him since, so I'm not really intrigued. When one of your major storylines is kind of boring, I think that's when you know it is time to end it. Facts, bro. This is this is facts. This is so true, man. It's, they definitely should have ended this a while ago. This is not working. My site is quick and... And those are the reasons why I don't think this Alexa Bliss isn't working out. I'll reiterate my points. The first problem was that Alexa Bliss has gotten way too supernatural and it looks very fake. And if you try to compare her supernaturalness to Bray Wyatt or The Undertaker, please don't. Those guys were able to pull it off. Yeah, they made the shit work. I know people can say, well, The Undertaker. There are still people now, even though they don't watch wrestling. If they were to see... The Undertaker, they would still get excited. They would still enjoy it. They still know who The Undertaker is because he made it work, bro. You got to be able to make that type of stuff work. He can pull that off. And also, he can go in the ring, too. So, it wasn't like he just had to use his superpowers all the time. He could actually whoop your ass in the ring. He did, like, you didn't want to be in the ring with him. You know what I'm saying? So... There's ways to make gimmicks like that work. And right now, Alexa Bliss, hers is just a piggyback off of Bray Wyatt. And Bray Wyatt was the only person that could ever make that gimmick work. Alexa Bliss, not so much in my opinion. They made it look cool and they did exciting things that worked for their characters. I don't see it working for Alexa Bliss. The second reason was that this might be the end of The Fiend Bray Wyatt. As stated earlier, that is a true shame if it is true, because he was better suited for the character. Definitely not Alexa Bliss, this was better for The Fiend Bray Wyatt. The third reason was that Alexa Bliss was much better as the goddess. That was when she was a valuable star, that was championship material, and all of these three reasons pretty much led to the last reason, which is that I just think it's not entertaining. This has been a failed experiment in my honest opinion. I want to see it end immediately, or hopefully change directions. I don't know how, but I just want to see Bray Wyatt regain his powers. And then I want Alexa Bliss <laughs> to move on from this forever yeah, as facts. well. Put them yeah, on different man. brands and never bring it up again. Mm -mm. Anyways, that is it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for Woo! watching. Let me know your thoughts about this new Alexa Bliss in the comments below. Yeah, that was, that was, yeah. Mm -mm. I'm good on that, bro. I'm good on her gimmick right now. They need to let this go. She, oh man, it, it just doesn't work. I can't believe they had Shayna Baszler being controlled by a doll, bro, in a match. Like, what? Come on, man. This is why I stick to SmackDown and NXT. But yeah, I appreciate all the love and support, man. Y'all definitely go check this guy's channel out. I'm going to link the video down below. He makes some great videos. And if y'all want me to check out some more of his stuff, I definitely will for you guys. Um, but um, yeah, this was... This whole experiment with Alexa Bliss, they just need to let it go. They need to let it go. So comment down below. Let me know if you guys agree with his points here. Do you guys think Alexa Bliss is not working anymore? Let me know. I I would love to get y'all feedback. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 50K. Appreciate y'all kicking in with me. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.